Whether you're a beginner, novice, or expert, I'll share a few tips I use on my own personal reef aquarium that might benefit you. I'll be going over the loss of power, keeping heat, and apex feed mode. Loss of power. It happens to all of us from time to time. The key is to be ready for it. Here are a few tips to help you from losing livestock. So after losing power, there are a few different ways of getting power back to your aquarium. One is a generator. They're big, bulky, and you always have to keep gas ready for them. Two is actually getting a power converter, putting that in your vehicle, and then running an extension cord from your vehicle to your fish tank. If you have Verizon Fios like I do, pictured on the screen is a box that you'll have to find. Open that up, and inside you'll find a battery. I use a 410 watt power converter, and for me, it works really good. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, it has a red terminal and a black terminal. It connects to the battery, and it has two outputs. Once you have your power converter and your battery ready, just take the positive, which is red, and put it on the positive terminal, which is red on the battery and do the same thing for the black terminal, which is negative. And then just take your main feed that goes to your fish tank and plug it in. You should be good to go. And here is another little tip. This is an aqua lifter. They're about 18 bucks. If you leave the input off and the output to your tank, it'll actually make bubbles. And last but not least, I like to store two frozen plastic cubes in my freezer. If my tank gets too warm and I lose power, all I gotta do is just pop one or two of these in my sump and I'm good to go. Heat. I use two heaters in my sump. I set one at 77.5 and the other one at 78 degrees. And here's why. Let's face it, during the winter months, your tank can get pretty cold. And that's exactly why I have two heaters. I have one set at 77.5 and the other one set at 78 degrees. And this is just for the simple fact that one of those heaters might go bad. And also I'm pretty sure that my tank will stay consistent at 77.5 with nothing else. Apex feed mode. If you turn off your power heads when feeding like I do, instead of reaching for your phone or your head unit, here's a little trick worth sharing. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I bought a momentary switch. And then I took that switch and I mounted it on the side of my cabinet. Now when I press this switch, it kills my return pumps for approximately 35 minutes. And this is ample time for your corals and your fish to feed. If you'd like to see more content from me, please visit my website at iancreer.com.